Hello children, in this lesson we are going to learn what is inverse proportion. Let's revise. How do we compare two quantities? Ratio and proportion are used very commonly to compare quantities. For example, given problems like some articles you purchased, you pay this much cost, you purchase more articles, you pay more cost. Or this much liter the car gives and this much distance it travel if you need to travel more distance how much petrol you will require and so forth there are some problems like more than number of workers you add lesser it will time to complete any work right or if you are watering your field more the water pipes lesser it will the time it will take to water the field right so these are all examples day to day life examples where you can use ratio and proportion to compare quantities and in our last lesson we learned about direct proportion and what was that whenever two quantities for example number of articles or and the cost or the number of liters of petrol and the distance traveled whenever the quantity x is increasing and the quantity y also increases and if x quantity decreases the y quantity also decreases we say x is directly proportional to y right or x is equal to ky this is what we have learnt in our last lesson more the petrol more the distance travelled more the number of article you purchase more is the total cost and so forth the quantity x the amount of petrol quantity y the distance travelled want to travel more distance you need more petrol or vice versa more petrol more the distance traveled you can have another thing like more the petrol more the cost you need to pay right at the petrol pump lesser petrol you want lesser the cost you need to pay so quantity x is proportional directly proportional to y when quantity x increases y also increases and vice versa if x decrease y also decrease right and we took some problems in our last lesson x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2 given three quantities we can find the fourth quantity now let's learn in this lesson what is inverse proportion i took this example before also say you are doing some work if you have three people to do it it will take some time if you had six people then will it take more time or less time it will take lesser the time right same way if you have more water pipes so you had one pipe it takes some amount of time to water the field if you had two water pipes you can do from two directions then you can finish this thing in half the time right so more the pipes lesser the time more the number of workers lesser the time to complete the work more is the speed lesser is the time to travel right more is the speed of car lesser is the time to travel so these are certain examples where quantity x if increases more the water pipes the quantity y decreases more are the number of people x increases more people the time to do the work decreases y is the time decreasing or if x decreases then y increases lesser the number of people more is the time to take lesser the water pipe more it times to take so understand the difference here one quantity increasing other quantity is decreasing right or if this quantity is decreasing other quantity is increasing it's, that's why it's called as inverse proportion direct proportional both were increasing or both were decreasing here one increases other decreases or other one decreases other increases in this case we write it like x is inversely proportional to y x is we put the same proportion side but instead of putting y like this we put 1 by y if this thing decrease you know de denominator decrease numerator increase right so x is inversely proportional to y the proportion sign remains the same like this but we write it as x is proportion sign 1 by y y decreases x increases y increases x decreases or vice versa so we write x 
proportion sign 1 by y. x is inversely proportional to y. Or we can say x is constant times 1 by y. Right? Let's say the constant is k. x is k times 1 by y. Or we can take this y above. So it becomes x into y is equal to constant. So in inverse proportion, x into y is constant. And in direct proportion, x by y is constant. Here, x into y is constant. x increases, y decreases, the constant value remains the same. x decreases, y increases, again the constant value remains the same. Right? And its use is, if there are different sets of quantities, x1, x2, say for example, some workers, more workers, and y1, y2, you can, given four things, and if in the problem three are given, one is missing, we can find it out. So we can use inversely proportional formula of x1, y1 equal to x2, y2. Given three things, say x1, y1, x2, you have to find y2, or you are you need to find x1, y1, x2, y2 are given. Three things are given, you can find the fourth value. Right? 